I know we still have to talk about this whole flat earth thing, but that's, that's for another day. Uh, yeah. The last time we were with you, Mike, here for the show, we were talking about this rocket, which actually was in pieces, uh, that you've actually kind of rebuilt. Tell us a little bit about this new death-defying stunt that you're about to do. Well, you know, actually, the last time we were here, we were talking about maybe the, uh, the rocket race at Sturgis. That is still happening. It's just that now I'm going to relaunch the same rocket from last March, the end of April, the first week of May, to promote a couple other things, plus a, a, a big exposition we're doing in Las Vegas Memorial Day weekend. All right, so it's rebuilt. What is different this time around with this particular rocket that, that you're trying to finish right now? Uh, well, one thing, we've made the thing uh, actually a foot and a half longer, which makes it more aerodynamic and more stable. And then we've uh, strengthened the inside. We've made the cockpit actually safer. Think about that, safer. Uh, we've, we've widened it and made it longer. Um, we've actually uh, reinforced the underneath of the rocket, the back of it, the wings and everything else. So, yes, it's uh, really, it looks a lot like it did, but it's, uh, it's really totally different. Plus, the main thing is we're going to launch with 100 gallons of water this time, I think, to get me a mile up. Very good. So, I mean, if we can walk back this way, uh, it's been about six months since I've seen yeah, you last. It's been a while, yeah. Yeah. So, you have a bunch of different projects you've actually been working on, and one of those projects is is this boat, is this uh, this rocket boat, I guess, that you're working on. Tell us a little bit about the rocket boat and what you're doing with it. Okay, this came from a, actually a couple of different uh, type designs. No one's actually ever built a boat like this before. It's built kind of like a race car and everything else. And these aluminum parts you see are actually the sponsors. This is what's going to keep it afloat. And this is made to go 400 miles an hour. We think it's going to do it in five seconds and bring the record back here to the United States. That's been gone since 1978. And over here is the rocket for it. That's the, that's the steam rocket for this one. And all, all we've got to do is pressure check and it's ready to go in. This thing actually, it could be in the water in a month. Very good. Now, when we drove up, you were working on, I think, is this a missile? What, what is this over here? Okay. This is a, drop, a fuel drop tank out of an airplane. I think it's called a T-33, probably from World War II or, or maybe for the Korean War. And uh, basically, this is going to be my capsule that I'm going to ride in up to space. This is the one? This is the one right here. You know, uh, there are several ways you could do this. You could build one. You could make it out of stainless steel. But this is, this is here already. And this is actually going to be the bottom of it. All the batteries and then some of the accessories going to go underneath. And this makes it more aerodynamic coming back down because I'm going to be hitting the speed of about 2,000 miles an hour after I reach the 40, the 62 mile mark. And we can let go with everything. The rocket is going to float away. I'm coming down then. So this is the one that's going to do that? Yeah, this is it. This is the one that's going to give you the title of astronaut, right? Yeah, that's what they say. I guess if you go 50 miles up, you're an astronaut. Yeah. Astronaut Mad Mike Hughes. Now imagine that, man. I earn my wings. Limo driver to astronaut. Yeah, imagine that, man. You know, it's it's bizarre. You know, I would have thought this years ago. Yeah. Now, if we can have our camera pan around, you'll notice that we have some camera crews that are here with you. You have some really, really exciting things that are happening with all of this. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Because, I mean... Somebody told me that there's a network involved and that there's a show being put together about your life and everything that you're doing. Yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, happening. You've got a new book that, uh, that's on Amazon, uh, that Mad Mike Hughes Tell All Tell. And then we've got a, a coloring book out already. It's on Lulu for sale. And uh, right now we're working on the documentaries done. I don't know when they're going to release it. Maybe they're too embarrassed to release it. I don't know. But uh, we've got a, a crew here. We've been filming for the third day. For a network television deal, we've got uh, four episodes, I guess, been bought. We're hoping for 12, you know, depending on, uh, you know, how many stupid things I say that people want to watch every week. And then um, and we're going to plan on going to space next year, you know, maybe hopefully uh, this time next year. I just want it on record that yeah. when you find out if the world is, in fact, flat or round, yeah. I get the first exclusive with you over everybody else. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's going to take massive payola right here okay see that that means that's where the money goes okay no one sees this but that's where the money's going right there okay and that's not a low five okay? that's money well mike i wish you the best of luck with oh, everything we're going to continue to follow the story as as they cover it and and create the show around your life and i, I can't wait to see you get become an astronaut yeah i can't either you know i was as a kid i wasn't even interested in space i know i didn't even have those little stomp rockets i didn't care you know it's just bizarre how your life evolved to something yeah. you know yeah it's gonna be pretty hard to find a local limo driver to drive me around I mean, it's, it's gonna suck but gotta do what i gotta do right life yeah. goes on yeah i think after this space thing it's gonna be pretty hard to hire me out <laughs>
Yeah. Very good. Good luck to everything, Mike. Uh, thank you. Thank for, you. for Local Edition, Channel 33 in Apple Valley, I'm Andrew Caravella.